And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Talia Predict as our first of four meme tier donation decks today. Got a lot of meme tier donation decks on the list. We're probably going to be doing another meme tier deck or meme tier day this week, um, which is perfectly fine with me. They're always a lot of fun. These are, you know, so these are some deck ideas that aren't necessarily made to be super competitive, but they can win some games and can do some cool stuff. This one is going to be Zillion Echo Talia. This is going to be a deck like where we're going to be, you know, playing our landmarks, having our landmarks get destroyed for Herald of the Magus. Got three copies of that to be able to grant the plus two, plus two overwhelm to different stuff. And in particular with those uh, landmarks, we're going to be using Time Bomb. Zillion's going to grab, you know, create some Time Bombs, put some Time Bombs in play. Talia is going to be copying the Time Bombs, and so then we can have, you know, Double Time Bomb, which should be pretty cool. Also have this Risen Altar. Seems like a perfectly fine landmark to copy. Make a couple of super big um, Ruin Runners. So that's good. And then we also got an Echo in here because we're going to be predicting not only the Zillion, but we'll also have Time Trick, Aspiring, you know, we'll have like some different predict cards. And now that Echo only needs four predicts to level up, it's pretty easy to level up uh, Echo. And then Echo is going to have cool Parallel Convergence and Chrono Break and stuff like that. You know, like Parallel Convergence with Talia, especially with Overwhelm Talia, sounds incredible. So that's the kind of stuff that we're going to have in this deck. So we're going to go play our five games. We play Whenever we play our meme tier decks, we just play them in normal. And uh, kind of to see how they work. Because, you know, maybe in normal we can we can kind of show off the deck a little bit more. All right, so we got Sejuani Braum with Bilgewater. So it looks like Sejuani Gangplank, but they're just not playing Gangplank. They're playing Braum instead. Like we're going to send the Herald back with like no... Um, no landmarks yet, but I kind of like keeping Predict Predict Echo. Big Gamer Boy, what's up, what's up? Alright, good start here with round one Fallen Feline and then Predicts. So we're at the Time Temple for Zillion. We have our Talia card back. And we have our Echo Predict deck. <laughs> All together. Oh. Alright, so no free Hexite Crystal yet. Let's go and grab this Ancient Preparations to get another free Predict. But I also don't want to just sit back and take a whole bunch of damage. They could easily have another one damage thing. Parlay, make it rain, all that kind of stuff. But that's just how it go. Let's go ahead and skip here. I don't really want to grab another Ancient Preparations, I don't believe. I guess that would not have been the worst thing. Okay, well, anywho, let's go ahead and attack for two. See what's up. I'm definitely not playing the Echo before it's leveled up. Alright. Thermo for six. Alright. It is not easy to kill Braum. Mistake shot. If they have another Braum, we're in trouble. Let us get going. Of course they do. All right, so we're in trouble. <laughs> this is fun, yes? So I could miss it, shot my own 2-2, and then they don't get the 3-3. Three, three. But that doesn't really seem worth it. it is easy, see? Yeah, we're in big trouble. 2-8 Braum. Really hard to kill. Um, 
So I need... I do need more landmarks. I guess we'll take the same preparations. Ooh, okay. Oh, this just puts it on top. We don't actually draw it, right? Would I rather have Zillion over Ancient Hourglass or Ancient Hourglass to protect Echo? I want this Ancient Hourglass. We protect Echo and level up our Herald of the Magus. But I guess if I'm playing, if I'm planning to play Echo this round anyway, I have this 2 8. Man, this is pretty rough. Hmm. I was deciding between Hourglass and Zillion, and we just get both. Oh, wow. good hand for them. Double Braum, Sejuani, and two of these big ancient yetis that didn't cost very much. That's a difficult hand to deal with. Yeah, that was a good hand. We kind of see, like, the power of our deck of, like, stuff that we're doing. Man, and double troll gifts for this Braum? Wow. Ten, fifteen. Listen to me. I suppose so too. So this puts me down to five. Wow. We are really dead. Any of these cards do. The way is always the same. Hourglass plus Tala is always like another pretty cool um, option. We make this place ready. My boat, my wow. Head in top. Press of hand. Yep. GG's. This was a impressive hand for them and just shows the power of Braum. My favorite champion in the game. Braum dominated this game. Only at two? That's a surprise. Okay, well that's the best block I can make, but that still puts us down to zero because of the overwhelm from these two. Four overwhelm damage here, and one overwhelm damage there. Alright, turns out double Braum, double Troll Gifts, double uh, super cheap Ancient Yeti, and having said Zwani, that's, that's a good way to win a game. So, 
good fun game. GG's opponent, he got us. Oh, one one. Oh dear. Okay, so they're gonna be pretty aggressive. You know, going wide, a bunch of spiders, everything like that. I don't really want any of these cards. We need blockers early, and also a card like Zillion would be really clutch, because Zillion's a 1-4, it's a good blocker, but then it can make those time bombs, and those time bombs could be pretty important. So, uh, still not a very good hand. Oh, there we go. Alright, let's find some time bombs. Predict time bomb... No time bomb. I'm gonna take this endless devout though. Endless devout's a great blocker. I have my orders. Yeah, it's a really good blocker for this round. Good aggressive hand for them. All right, so you're blocking there. You're blocking. Down to ten. Mm. There's nothing to fear. I was going to take the thermogenic beam, but then I realized that. This would actually work better. It makes my Talia worse, but... We get to kill that and make a 5-3 blocker, that's nice, and you know, we still have fast speed. Mystic shot. Okay, I like two fast speed Mystic shots. So I could protect against... It's just not worth it. I was going to say I could protect against Noxion Fervor by keeping one of them available. But also I'd rather just like take zero damage. Awesome, no Fervor. So that worked out pretty well. Only got three cards left. Our opening hand wasn't great, but we've drawn really well this game. Oh no, but... If they can just do... Half of my nexus total in direct damage. That could just be it. Okay, we'll get Risen Altar in play. Next round, blow it up with the Naturalist. Well, that's a really bad sign that they just have 50% of your Nexus in direct Nexus damage. Decimates and Fervors, they will end games very fast. And I thought there was something good to see. I'll drag you out of there if I have to. Yeah. That's too bad, because obviously we're going to be winning here, but just half the Nexus done with three cards. Oh dear. Um, yeah, I think that, that did show like the importance of when you have the attack token. I think if we have it round one and three, we win that game, because then they have to only attack on round two and round four, and we have a lot better blockers on those rounds. But that's how it is. So it could be the same type of deck, again, with Fervors, Decimates, and Aggro. We're going to send you back, and I kind of want to keep this Naturalist, to be honest. I don't know. Ooh, there we go. Perfect. I was going to say, I don't know exactly what landmark we're going to be destroying yet, but putting a 2-4 and a 5-4 in play is usually a good idea. Um, I... I guess I could see maybe keeping ancient preparations there, but I'm gonna send them all back. Everything's in place. You know, we're gonna have shot on two, devout on three.
Mm, or Chronomancer on two. We can always rely on you to keep us safe. Victory requires a sharp blade. I should attack there. I don't know why I didn't attack. The attack. Like they just take it. They're at 18. Like so, they could just be at 18 right now. I just kind of clicked OK. So taking the thermal giant beam that can kill like a Darius later on. That could be pretty important. Okay, so we both got four cards. Basically, basically an even game, but they've dealt four damage so far. Huh. That... Nothing can stop me. Seems like an odd time for that. Good draw. Figure out how to kill these five ones, you know, five one, five two. History is whatever. I don't take the damage. We can swing back here for twelve. Wish I would have already dealt the two damage to them. I could kill the 5-1 challenger because then the ch challenger just allows them to make the decision of what blocks and everything where if I you know the 5-2 I get to decide so I guess I should just be killing that we make this case ready. we're not getting greedy about like trying to make sure we get this plus two plus two overwhelm yeah, so we could figure that thing was dying. Take all this, we get the... Uh, you know, didn't play the Preservarium because we're going to get this time trick. But we're looking great, of course, because they're left with nothing. We're still at 13. It's looking very good. I'll just take this Chronomancer. What a, that's a great draw. Alright, Chronomancer allows me to... I don't know, I guess we'll just take the time trick. I was going to say, it allows me to put something on top and then draw it from Preservarium. Alright, there we go. Timo Sejuani. That Sejuani card is still going to be tough. But I like this hand. I could see getting rid of the Mystic Shot. But besides that, everything else looks good. So we have Thermo for like a round one Teemo or something. We're just saving that for later. I guess I guess if we want to go Fallen Feline on one, then maybe we need the Mystic Shot for a round one Teemo, then an open attack. <laughs> yeah, I don't. Uh, Chad asked, like, why do the opponents drag out the timer? I don't know. It happens, though, but. Gotta love that immediate puff cap. Time trick. I could see also passing. I think it was just like one of those two options. 
their passive take time trick. So we take our one point of damage anyway, like how that pup cap did for leveling up Sejuani. So it's gonna go towards leveling it up either way. Okay, with them playing the Teemo, we'll shoot Stone Stackers for two. Thermogenic Beam for one. Contologist is a great card there. Yeah, this is Teemo Sejuani. Two mana, two, two, plus you get to replace it with a quality spell that you get to choose. Man, the power level on this card is insane. The power level of some of these Bandle commons, like these manifest cards, really high. Um, I kind of want to block. Sure. Just don't know exactly what my 1-2 zillion is going to really be doing. So yeah, forces an ice shard out of their hand. Not bad. Uh, those cards are not very good. I guess we could play Talia, Hourglass Talia, and then have Talia copy the Hourglass. And so we can get multiple Talias in play. And that will be three landmarks. Devout, eh? Like threading a needle. It's gonna blow. It's gonna blow. They're not helping me out. Would have been really nice if they would have played like a removal spell that you know then we would have Oh wait, so we're gonna have three Talias, aren't we? Bow to no one. Huh. Well, we still deal three. Sejuani's just so good. We're gonna have three Talias and we can't even handle one Sejuani. Only the strong survive. Okay, Zero Sparrow says this deck has been doing surprisingly well for me, but it sometimes breaks into zero landmarks and only synergy cards. Yeah, we'll get some bricks. Every now and again, it looks like. All right, I'm gonna block with a three-four to just save one point of nexus damage instead of a three-three. Do need two more landmarks to die. We can always rely on you to keep us safe. Landmark. I don't know. Does this just mean they play a new Sejuani? I mean, maybe. Okay, so that puts it to one health. So 
So we're gonna get Frostbit, Round Star. Guess Mystic Shot? That doesn't really help though. Neither do these other cards. Together, we are stronger than stone, faster than the wind. Relax your knees. Ooh. That's a lot of damage. Mystic Shot actually looks like it's going to kind of help a little bit now. They go down to three, they go down to one. Or, sorry, sorry. They take one, they go down to two. That Mystic Shot's only looking kind of good. Ow, Frostbite. I think we can go ahead and try this before we take, you know, three more damage before we go to seven. That, that'll do. Alright, so Triple Talia. Getting it done. GG's. Ezreal Vi. So they're Battle City. So that probably means a uh, Curious Shell Folk deck. Would be my guess. So we'll keep the ones. We'll keep Risen Altar because that card's cool. And looks like we get Preservarium for the other one. So we'll start following Feline so we can attack with that. Hopefully not... Otterpus on their side that just blocks the Fallen Feline efficiently. Hopefully not. They just pass. And we attack. Of course. Possibly just play Preservarium here round two instead of Ancient Preparations. You can see that. Uses our mana better, but if we want to shuffle our deck looking for Hexite Crystal, no, let's just go. Let's just go with Prince Okay. So this kind of looks like this is going to be a whole lot of value against a whole lot of value. Nobody's going to be running out of cards anytime soon. So that's going to have uh, Countdown 1 next round. We'll be able to copy that with the Talia next round. That works out well. Do we want another Fallen Feline? I don't have any other Predict in my hand right now. I think we'll just skip. Yeah, I don't mind that 3-3 dying. Yep, I don't mind that at all. Also, wouldn't be bad to copy Risen Altar, but I'll just take this while we can. This is going to be uh, Landmarks 2, 3, and 4 getting destroyed at next round start. Which will enable Herald of the Magus. I'll wait on the Ride of the Arcane for after the Risen Altar. Okay, time trick. Alright, so no no Shell Folk. That's something we have to be worried about is Shell Folk. I think we have something on that case. Oh. 
Yeah, so my plan is uh, Risen Altar, Ride of the Arcane. Uh, so it looks like they got grabbed Trinket Trade from the Archivist. We're going to kill the Archivist, and then they don't have any Fearsome Blockers. For an open attack with these five threes. Oh, wow. Yeah, they realize, yeah, they, they can't block the five threes. And we'd also have that seven six overwhelm that they would only be able to put like two health in, in there. So that's like 15. And they're like, all right, they got us. All right, so a nice three and two record there with our Talia Predict deck. Got to do some cool stuff with Talia the last couple of games. Uh, we got some cool time bomb stuff. So yeah, our only losses were to Braum, which, you know, Braum's best champion in the game. Really just like the best champion ever. Uh, we all know that. So no shame losing to Braum. And then that burn deck that we stabilized against, but they just ended up, you know, three of their last four cards. You know, we stabilized at 10. Three of the last four cards were just Decimate, Fervor, Decimate. And, you know, that's just too much Nexus damage. Um, you know, half your Nexus total and you know we lost to that but we won all the other ones we beat another aggro deck and then we had a game against a sejuani where we got triple talia that was pretty cool play a talia hourglass it copy it with another talia and then you saw that last one uh that we just went you know big and aggressive with a bunch of fearsomes so pretty cool little deck i think it worked out well Got to do some cool stuff, you know, like, we're not only relying on Talia Landmarks, we're not only relying on Predicts with Echo, you just kind of get to combine them together and, you know, just, just kind of see what happens in the game. Alright, so that's going to be it though for Talia Predict, so those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there, and as always, feel free to leave those comments. If you've been playing like Zillion Echo and you wanted a little bit more power, maybe try Talia, maybe try this out with that, but uh, that's going to be it for this video, so thank you so much for watching. And we'll see you for the next one.